And to be honest, like I got to the point where I knew either God's real and he's going to help me get off these drugs or I don't want to get off them. It was like I needed more. I needed a purpose to live also. I'm sitting in jail and this guy next to me, he wakes up, right? I don't know anyone in the jail. And uh, this guy gets up and he starts, he just looks crazy. He's got long hair, you know, uh, this big guy, just looks a little a little loony and he starts laughing, right? <laughs> and he starts saying, Lord works, Lord, Lord, Lord works in mysterious ways, mysterious ways, right? And so like, I still haven't said anything. I'm just listening to him, right? And he goes on and he's like, he's laughing. And I, it was kind of funny, but I'm like, is this guy talking to me, you know? And then out of his mouth, he said, until Dane, I didn't burn him, you know? And it was like, when he said that, he said my name and he said, tell Dane, I didn't burn him. I knew that God was speaking to me through this guy. And it was like, God was showing me my heart towards him was if he had burned me, if God had burned me, you know, and turned his back on me. And it was like, God revealed the secrets of my heart to me. And like, I didn't realize I felt that way towards God. I felt that he hadn't come through on his promises or that he had wronged me. And it was like, like I said, God showed me that it was me that was turning from him and trying to outrun you know, him. So.